I am outside our lovely cabin in the Smoky Mountains and I thought I'd take you guys for a little tour around it. First of all though, let me show you the outside because the views here are absolutely stunning. It is just so, so beautiful. We are actually staying on Black Bear Lane, which to be honest, when I saw the address, made us a little bit worried. <laughs> Uh, but actually where our cabin is is great because there are cabins around us as you can see and um, although our road to the cabin is quite steep as well it's not as bad as some of the cabins that are up further in the mountains so it's definitely something to check if you're coming here in terms of like how difficult is it to access the property are you comfortable driving on these really small and steep roads our road here uh, is quite a short one that takes us then onto a bigger road so it hasn't been too bad we have quite a large vehicle and we've got an off-road vehicle and to be honest we felt really comfortable in it but it's definitely large so obviously on the smaller roads it's a bit tricky we have seen cars going all the way down here and then up some crazy steep hills to get to the cabins that are right up the mountain let's head on inside then and have a look first thing you can see there is a bear proof bin on the outside so obviously they're trying to keep really careful when it comes to any bear activity and you know if you're going to be leaving rubbish out the bears are going to come now unfortunately we haven't seen any black bears uh, we've definitely heard lots of wildlife but haven't seen a black bear ourselves i don't know whether it's fortunately or unfortunately because i probably would have been quite scared but uh it would have been nice to see one maybe from a safe distance just heading on up to our outdoor porch area we've got a barbecue we've got a nice outdoor seating area and there's some logs here that can be used in the fire pit. You can see there's a cabin right beside ours, but to be honest, we never really felt overlooked or anything like that. And there's a little fire pit there. Now, originally we thought we might be toasting some marshmallows and doing that sort of thing, but actually the weather's been quite dry and there was an advisory about outdoor fires. So we didn't do that at all on this trip. Heading on into the cabin then, it's so nice. <laughs> Now, if you hear some bangs in the background, that is Rachel playing dart in the games room that I'll show you in a minute. Um, but this is our kitchen area. It's really nice. We've got everything you need, really. All of the bits and pieces that you would want when you're staying in a cabin. So we just did a big shop on the way in and had all our bits there. But honestly, like it's only 20 minutes to a Publix, a little bit further to a Walmart. So even though it's nice and secluded, there's so much nearby in Pigeon Forge. We've got a microwave, toaster, coffee maker, and utensils. This sofa has been great, it's been super comfortable. We've spent a lot of time just chilling and watching TV. It's handy, a lot of the places here have like Roku, which is kind of like an Amazon Fire Stick. I've never really seen it back in the UK, but it seems to be very common here because we've had it in villas before as well. We've got a nice little seating area too. And the absolute gem of the property in my eyes is out on the back porch. But first of all, let's have a little knock at this door here so I don't get a dart in the face and go in and check out the games room. I come in? Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to your crib. <laughs> so this is our games room. We have a big billiards table, which to be honest, we didn't really know what we were doing, but we had to go anyway. <laughs> um, I don't really understand what the story is with the salt, like how you're supposed to sort that situation out, but um, there's a little salt shaker here. We just had to go like throwing them down and trying to get them as close to the number three, or at least to stay on the board. <laughs> I think Rachel was probably the better one at this for sure. I uh, did not master it as well. But um, yeah, it's so handy having like a little games room that we can have a go on. Let's see now if I can do a bit better on camera with the pressure. No. <laughs> okay, take two. <laughs> oh, I got a three, okay. So the first one was a fail, but I got a three, but Rachel's just uh, playing on the dartboard. Now on the darts, I was a little bit better. Just managed to beat Rachel this morning. She's not very happy about it. It was very close. Yeah, Rachel did get a bullseye and I didn't. Then we have a full size washer dryer, which is pretty cool. We made use of that, although. <laughs> When we did our first wash, I just don't know what I was thinking, but basically I loaded up this machine, then I turned the washing machine on, um, but this is the washing machine. <laughs> so when we opened it up to take our clothes out, I was like, why are they dry? 
<laughs> but yeah, a little bit wet because they had detergent on them. And then we figured out we had set this machine off empty and uh, our clothes had just been sat in the drawer doing nothing. There's another little TV in here as well, which is handy. There's a downstairs bathroom and that's where the shower is. The shower was decent actually, good water pressure, which is really all you want to be honest. And toilet, sink, little cabinet under there. And then a little storage space here and a mirror. We'll head back out, I'll leave Rachel to play darts. Let's head on out to this back patio because this is my favorite part of this property. We've got a nice screen then to stop any bugs getting in. The pièce de résistance, the hot tub. I just lifted the cover off so I could show you guys. <laughs> we didn't know what this thing was floating in it, but it's actually just something that uh, keeps the hot tub itself clean. Isn't this just beautiful? And then we also got to watch the cars trying to make it up the hills. <laughs> um, and then uh, you can just come out of the hot tub, sit and chill on the rocking chairs, dry off a bit. It's honestly been amazing. I would highly, highly recommend if you are considering doing a trip to Pigeon Forge, to Dollywood, to Tennessee, that renting a cabin like this and coming up into the mountains. I just can't recommend it enough. So heading on upstairs then to the bedroom. And look, this place is just beautiful. Got a decent sized bed, a little chair on the side there, another TV. So there's three TVs, which is handy. Little luggage rack, these cool lights. And then there's also a small bathroom upstairs as well. Next to the bathroom then is the closet. It's really big actually, but uh, we decided not to haul our heavy suitcases up here. Instead, we just kind of brought up what we needed. Love this cabin, would totally stay here again. There's plenty more in the area. Like we just booked on airbnb.com, read the reviews and just made sure we got a good place. And yeah, I think we're already talking about coming back. I'd love to bring our parents here. And that's it guys. That is our cozy lodge in the Smoky Mountains. Thank you guys so much for watching. So much more to come on this trip. So can't wait to share it all with you. We are off to Dollywood tomorrow, which I'm very excited for. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It always helps. And uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.